Hi, it's Sue. Welcome back to my channel today. Um, I'm working on week three of Roxy's weekly challenge, which I, um, is all about making tall, skinny envelopes from old book pages, like the clear um, copy. You know, the front page is what I'm saying, really. Um, book pages, I've taken book page, um, digitals, whatever. So um, I thought I'd turn the camera on, just move some of this out of the way, and um, let's get going. How are you today? It's pretty warm here. Yesterday, just as I was leaving for the hairdressers, the heavens opened. It was absolutely lashing with rain. Do that inside. And um, I just thought, oh, that'll be right as I come out. When I leave the hairdressers, if it's still doing the same, what's the point in that? <laughs> Oops, sorry, just gone for my ruler. There we go. I don't really want them any bigger than three and a half, so that works quite well. Just take it in a bit. Um, yes, luckily it wasn't raining when I left. In fact, by the time I got into town, there was no rain over there. I don't think they got any at all. And they're like 20 minutes away from me which is incredible, and co on the coast. So you would think normally they'd be the ones suffering. But it was obviously the storm was coming from inland. So, um, yeah, some places had hail, apparently. Goodness. It's that time of year here. Okay, I'm going to make mine eight inches tall or thereabouts. So that's it. Fold into the middle, just enough to overlap. Fold a little bit up at the bottom and some down at the top. And then we start cutting. So, um, yeah, so that was yesterday. But um, I did manage to get my blue page loaded up without any hassle. So that's gone up. It's good. And as soon as I've finished this, I better start on the next junk January prompt, junk journal January. Oh, what am I doing? Which is um, wordy. So that should be fun. I've got a pretty good idea what I'm doing for that, so hopefully that'll be another quick video. So that's the idea here. You shape these side pieces down towards the bottom flap, just so that when you fold over, you don't get that bulk down near the crease line. Okay, same at the top, and do the same just in towards the fold. And I'm going to do mine straight down, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I'm just cutting this one, and the rest will be decorating. Because quite honestly, um, Rachel's video is very self-explanatory. If you watch hers as well, let's just take that a bit more. You'll be off and running. Okay, that's better. So for this. Top 
flap. I want to ch shape it. What I'm going to do is Rachel suggested and gently just fold that in, fold it in half, match up the edges more or less and then just with my scissors trim round. Whether I missed that end piece I did, popped out. up of my desk. I hope you noticed a nice clean white sheet after all my ink splattering. There we go, didn't do the best job on these. Right, so let's glue them. glue both sides. Okay, and the bottom. There we go. And we'll leave the top. So there you go. There's your tall skinny envelope. And my measures, just a smidge under eight inches by three and a quarter, which is fine. Okay, so that's that one done. I love it. I love the color of that one. Um, so we'll put that to one side for a moment and I'll show you these that I've actually made, started. They haven't been glued up properly or decorated. So this one, this was done from the um, index sheet of an atlas and again that's probably measures eight inches, skinny one. So um, and what I thought for that one was we might wrap a doily around like so, and add a fussy cut flower. Should we add that a little further over, I think? Yeah. Okay, so that's that one. And then this one, this was done from some design paper or digital. Um, And this is one of mine using graphics fairy images on some of my, what do you call this, ledger paper. Makes for a very pretty envelope. And I wondered about using this because it's so pretty. You don't want to do anything, you know, too much and I might just take that off the page. What do you think? That's what I was thinking anyway for that one. So that's that one. And this one, this is another book page from a botanical. And I've done the same again. I fussy cut um, a flower. This is from the Graphics Fairy. I actually um, have a premium membership with the Graphics Fairy, so I use a lot of their a lot of their images and papers. Okay, so that one I was thinking something like that. Maybe add a couple of tags. Um, not tags. What am I thinking? Labels. That's what I mean. Now this one, this is a bit different. This is a book page and it's a very glossy book page. But I love that picture. 
and I folded it to take advantage of these two and I'm calling them mother and daughter and I just think that makes for such a pretty envelope and I'm debating, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do here, but probably just a little cluster up on this top corner, blue butterfly somewhere. Here it is. Thought something like that for that one. Possibly a, um, a label down here. Don't know. But it, it doesn't need a lot, basically, is what I'm thinking for that one. This one is also done with um, a digital. And this is an image. This was a, um, a digital receipt from the Graphics Fairy. And I've just added one of their birds to the front. And I think this is from the latest um, collection they've released, which was... Uh, I can't think what it's called. It's something blue. Anyway, I'll add it at the bottom. Very pretty images in this one. So for this, yeah, I can't decide how to... Again, it might just be small pieces. I, um, I've got all sorts here, look. Don't really want to add more birds. I don't think I want flowers. Oh yeah, this was what I pulled out. Um, a little cluster again, I was thinking possibly. Something like this. Doesn't need a lot. What do you think? Something like that. Okay. So let's start with this one and um, we'll glue it down and I'm going to stop talking, play some relaxing music, I haven't trimmed the top of this have I, gosh, yeah play some relaxing music and come back at the end show you them completed. I'm actually thinking of, um, I might do some stitching on these as well. Okay, so for the last one, I've come back in and we'll chat through this one. I'm going to use this fussy cut and it's quite fragile. Um, 
I'm just going to lightly ink this one, particularly around that very fragile stem, because you can see I didn't get too close. There is a fair amount of white showing. So we'll just ink it up. I think that looks a bit better. And um, I played around a bit with this one because I want to use this, which is wrapping paper that I picked up yesterday while I was out. I thought it was really nice. It's very Australian, Australian gum nuts and um, eucalyptus leaves. Beautiful. So I'm um, thinking we'll just wrap that around the page, make sure I'm doing it the right way around, like that. And then I've inked up a little piece of book page because everything looks better with book page. It's really strange. <laughs> Don't know what the story is, but it does. And then my rose will fit there. Okay, let's get it down. And of course, I'm going to need to make skinny tags to go into these, but that might be for another day, I think, because I've still got to stitch them. There we go. I like to use the brayer just to make sure it's well glued down. And that's good. Sorry, I've had to put the fan on in here. If you can hear it in the background. Hope it's not too noisy. But I was um, feeling extremely warm. Okay. Now the image. I'm obviously collecting from the bottom of this little tube or bottle. There we go. Let's pop those on. I think I just lost a bit of that one. Yeah I did trim it up. You could, um, actually, I think Rachel mentioned, you could actually add a piece onto the flap here and um, pop these over a page in your journal. In which case, I'd need to do something about the back of mine. Now, this needs a bit of an extra, I think. And what can we use? Actually... Rachel used a stamp, and I've got plenty of stamps. Let's have a look what we can do. Think. 
Oh, we should have that one. It's Australia Day here today. We should have that one. Yes. Stuck down to the one next to it. Let's go with that one. That's a former Premier and an Indigenous Australian. So I think we'll put that one down. Perfect. Pop those back in. It's quite different from the card, from the envelope. But you know what? I will remember that I made that one on Australia Day. Okay. And somewhere I have a stamp. Hang on. Okay. I managed to get my glue all over that one. There we go. It's done. And black. Actually, hang on a moment. Yeah, let's use this one. which is the right way around, but if it's upside down, it doesn't really matter. It'd be hard to tell. <gasps> okay. And um, what about a little label? A label. Know about that one we'll have a think about it okay I'm going to take these over to stitch I added some lace to that one and a little label a label to that one also that one I don't know whether I think I did that and I've finished this one off like this so I'm going to go and stitch them and I will see you in a moment Okay, so I've stitched around all four sides. Obviously making sure not to close this, <laughs> this envelope. But um, I have stitched around the flap as well. And um, I had to remind myself that I'm gonna lose a bit of space inside the envelope. So I kept my stitching as close as I could to the edge. So um, that's one. There's another one. It's another one. This is super pretty, this one. This one, smaller. These last two are smaller. But I like them. I think they're good. Okay. So there you go. That's my tall skinny envelopes for Roxy's weekly challenge and um, now all I've got to do is make the make some sort of tag or journaling piece to go inside the envelopes so that's for another day thanks so much for calling past and hope to see you soon probably the next post will be a junk journal January one See you next time. Bye.